Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to explain what is the broad sense heritability and this video would be important for those people who study population genetics or who uh, plant or animals breeders. And here is a uh, problem. A study was performed to estimate the heritability of human height. Heritability estimates were initially performed in children average age 5 years old and found to be 0 0.74 Heritability was estimated again in the same set of individuals when they were adults average age 40 years old and found to be 0 0.30. How can these results be explained? And um, I'm going to use three examples to explain what is a broad sense heritability. Imagine, uh, for example, that uh, some person belong to the certain blood group. And uh, in the ABO blood group system, we have um, four blood groups. Blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and O. And let's say that uh, we have a person that belongs to the blood group B. How do you think uh, would be blood group influenced by the environment? For example, what person eats or how long he sleeps. And uh, of course, we can say that this trait is not influenced by the environment. It's totally influenced by genotype of the person and his uh, parents. So we can say that influence of the genetic makeup or genes would be 100% or uh, we do all our calculations uh, between 0 and 1. So in this case uh, H capital squared which stands for the uh, broad since heritability uh, would equal to 1. And uh, that means that uh, this trait under the control of the genes and not of the environment. But let's take another example. This time, say, uh, take um, two monozygotic twins that were adopted by two different families. And uh, because these two twins uh, absolutely genetically identical, we can expect that uh, these two children by the age uh, 10, for example, would have the same weight. But if we would take into account that uh, first family uh, don't care about what a child eats, they eat a lot of junk food and they always have access to this junk food and family number two uh, have more strict rules uh, how many times a day a child uh, can eat and uh, they strict about what he eats and they're more keen about uh, eating more healthy food. We can expect that uh, in family one child can be more uh, obese or uh, its weight can be higher than uh, of the child in the second family. So in this case for example, H capital squared or broad sense heritability, we can say would be 0.5 or 50% would be influenced by uh, genetic makeup and 50% uh, of the weight can be explained by the uh, different uh, influence of the environment because in these uh, two families we would have a different environment. And now let's take another example. This time let's uh, take sea turtles. So this is sea turtle. And sea turtle uh, would lay eggs. And in some species of sea turtle, sex of the progeny uh, would depend on the uh, temperature of the sand. If it is going to be above certain threshold, uh, we can expect that uh, all the eggs would develop as females if below certain temperature threshold. We expect that all the eggs would develop as males. In this case, we can say that um, genetic influence would be zero and uh, influence of the environment would be 100%. So broad sense heritability in this case would be zero because uh, once again uh, not genotype defines the sex but environment so we can put here 
zero. And now we have uh, three examples of uh, road sense heritability. And now you are ready for this formula. This is very simple formula. So H uh, capital squared. And here is uh, uh, important that I am saying capital because we also have H um, lowercase, uh, which stands for the narrow sense heritability, and H capital squared stands for the broad sense heritability, uh, which equals to variance genetic divided by variance phenotypic. And uh, in this case, we can say that um, here we have 1 or 100 percent and uh, what is the variance phenotypic? As you remember phenotype equals to variance genetic plus variance uh, environmental. So phenotype it is genetics plus environmental influence. So we also can expand this formula to Virance genetic divided by virance genetic plus virance environmental or environmental influence. And now it is much easier to understand what I'm going to explain. Imagine that we have here children who are five years old and we see that um, influence of the genetics on the uh, height uh, is greater than at the age 40. How it is possible? Let's say that this line represents um, variation in the height of five years old children and uh, this line here represents uh, variance in the uh, students and let's add another line here so here we would have a line that would represent uh, variation in the uh, height uh, of the 40 years old. Basically after say uh, 20 years old we do not uh, add much to our height. And um, what we can say looking at this picture? We can say that uh, during all these years uh, we take into account that we uh, do our research with the same people. So at the age 5 years old and at the age 40 years old this uh, red box represents that these people have the same genetic makeup as uh, in the 5 years old. So their genes doesn't change. But uh, at the age Five years old, uh, if we would uh, compare children, we can say that um, these children would spend most of their time in the preschool, uh, they would uh, spend their whole day there, and uh, the food they, they're going to take uh, would be uh, probably almost the same. They would uh, eat mostly uh, milk, porridge, and so on. and uh, these children would be under the total control of their parents. But uh, when children would grow, uh, the environment would change. For example, when they would uh, go to university or college, now some of them may uh, go to gym, some of them may stay at home and uh, eating uh, fast food, some of them may uh, uh, be more keen about uh, healthy food and uh, if we would take a look at the people who are 40 years old the environment even uh, change more dramatically some may leave the country go to different countries some may go to different state uh, some uh, may change the climate so we see that uh, environmental uh, influence here would increase because uh, environment uh, changes also would increase if we would compare children uh, who attend the same preschool at uh, five when they were five years old. So we see uh, once again 
affected envi environmental influence would increase uh, if we would compare with uh, children, the same children, when they were five years old. And if uh, this number would increase, that means that uh, variance due to genetics would decrease. And this explains why at the age uh, five years old, virus phenotypic uh, mostly due to virus uh, in genetics in these uh, children. But by the uh, 40 years old, we find that uh, virus uh, in the uh, height of the same group of people uh, would be uh, more influenced by the environment and uh, virus due to uh, difference in genetics would decrease. One more time, let's return to our formula. So, broad sense heritability gives us a um, relationship between uh, virus due to genetics to the virus um, of the phenotype. So, uh, genetics plus uh, influence of the environment. Why it is important? And once again, let's take a look at uh, my first three examples and imagine that we have a field of different plants. And we see that some plants are tall, some plants are short. And you are a plant breeder and if uh, this uh, variance in the uh, plant tallness, if it is important trait for you, is due to environmental influence only and all the plants would be uh, identical. There is no way how you can, um, for example, uh, select uh, some of the plants for the uh, pollination, uh, crossing, and in the next generation you will get, for example, bigger plants than in parental generation because all the variation is due to environmental influence and environmental influence cannot be uh, inherited and as um, plant breeder you or animal breeder you would be mostly interested in these two variants because uh, here we see that um, trait can be explained by the difference in the genetic makeup so if uh, we see variance in the tallness of the plants and it can be explained not only by environmental influence but also due to different uh, genetic makeup then it is good sign for us then in this case we can choose uh, best uh, plants from our point of view for the traits we are looking for and in the next generation we can expect that uh, trait that we uh, select for may change uh, in the desirable direction. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.